TGIF, people. What's going on? Tonight, I'm talking to the funky diva herself, Miss Dawn Robinson. Uh, this will be our second conversation. I'm excited about Dawn. Dawn and I, uh, we go back a ways. Um, although we have never met, we have really been um, cool with each other for some time now. Dawn is cool, people. I like her a lot. That's That's my buddy. How is everybody doing? Thank you for joining in the room. We're just waiting for the Funky Diva to come into the room. Hi. <laughs> if you haven't yet, make sure you go check out her new YouTube page. She's actually starting to uh, post some, some content on YouTube and she's trying to get it started. So if we could support her and her venture, that'd be great. I'm doing well. How are you doing? How's life? Thank you for being in the room. I appreciate it. Welcome, welcome. We're just waiting for Dawn. Amazing. I love to hear that. That's good. It's excellent, actually. Especially considering all that's going on in the world. And if you guys could do me a favor too, when you go to YouTube and you go check out Dawn's page, go to my page and subscribe. I need the numbers. Support a brother. Where's everybody from? If you could just put where you're from, what region of the country, or what country for that matter. Dawn is stellar. Love Dawn. And she has such a great personality. Like she's so, uh, she's joyous. That's the best way I can explain her. I just got off the phone with her. She should be in here any minute. See you later. Sorry you can't stay for the chat. Robert, how are you? <laughs> and the funky diva has just come into the room. <laughs> How are you? What's up, what's up beautiful? Oh my goodness, I'm good. How are you? I'm doing well. Well, I am blessed. Cannot complain. Very good. I'm outside Starbucks. Is this too loud? Is it too loud out here? I'm fine if you're fine. I'm fine. I just, okay. Okay. All right. And we're moving and we're moving. I'm well, thank you. I'm, I appreciate it. Yes, good, Chike. Dawn. Yes. You look great. Thank you so much. <laughs> I had to figure it out. I'm like running around trying to get this done. Oh my God, thank you, Chike. You look great yeah. too. Always, you're so professional. Oh, thank you, thank you, thank you. So guess what I did? What'd you do? I looked at the YouTube. <laughs> you did? You checked I it did. out? I did. <laughs> Good. Good. I did. Good. And I love the message. Okay. I oh, love the message. Yeah. Oh, love the message. I'm yeah. So yes. It, it was so, a little dark. It was my first one. So I had to like figure out how to put it together. And yeah, yeah. yeah. But my messages will always be similar to that. Like, you know, just I love to inspire. That's what I was saying. So that's who I am. Yeah. You know? Someone, someone. Someone just said before you got on. Someone uh, typed in the, in the live that Dawn was stellar, and I said, "Yeah, she is stellar." Oh, I oh think, and God. she has the personality to match. Like she's real joyous and bubbly. I love that. 
so much, you guys. It means a lot, Chike. You know, Hollywood can be very, very fake. You know what I mean? It's like we're told to smile no matter what, no matter what's going on in your life. And I've always been one to tell the truth no matter what. Mm -hmm. So thank you. I'm glad you see my heart. Yeah, 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 yeah. And I don't think like now with you being outside with the natural light, I just have to bring some things to, to light right now because of what I can see. You don't really have any makeup on except your lip. No, because I didn't have time. No, no, no. But you you are gorgeous. <laughs> gorgeous. What's, 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 what's really going on? What happened? <laughs> Drunk. He just pulled up right behind me. Okay. Chike, thank you so much. Oh, my God. Yeah, I didn't have time to like do foundation. I was gonna put on lashes. You don't need it. You don't need it. Jesus, thank you. I put some highlighter. It's supposed to be um, blush, but I put it on my cheeks and on my eyes. And I was like, okay, that's all I have time for. Some lipstick. Yeah. Thank you. So, so let's talk about this new venture of yours. I know you and I have talked. We've talked extensively, yes. but I want you to tell the people about what's going on, about you deciding to uh, create this YouTube page. YouTube page. So in 2000, what was it? 2020, at the height of COVID, I had done an interview with you and about 104 under, other people, 105 interviews altogether. And some of the, I think you were one of the ones that said, Dawn, you'd be great at like doing your own podcast. You should do your own. And I kept saying, thank you so much. Oh my God, that's so nice, you guys. And after like four or five people said the same thing, and then the fans were chiming in, I was like, okay, they really mean that. Like, they're not just saying, oh, you're so pretty, or you're so this, or you're so that. Mm -hmm. You know, we can be very cordial, but not very honest all the time. Right. So I was like, okay, they, they keep saying it, keep reiterating that I, I would be good on a podcast. So let me just look into this. And I started researching and, I did all, every video you can imagine on how to start your own, first, how to start your own podcast. And I didn't really love that as much mm -hmm. as doing a YouTube channel. So mm -hmm. I was like, okay, let me do a YouTube channel. I, I just think that that would be, I'd be better suited for that. Mm -hmm. um, and then, so I just started researching it. And I still gave myself so many different excuses because I didn't feel like it was my lane. Mm -hmm. It's just not my lane. Like, I, I don't know how to post on YouTube. I don't know how to edit videos. I don't know how to put them together. And so I was getting nervous about, like, maybe that's just not what I need to do. And then I was like, no, I keep coming back to it. I keep coming back to it. So there were a few different um, channels that I watched. A girl named Erin. And I think she's probably about, Erin's probably maybe 30. And her and her husband just moved to Paris, actually. But she's such a... A motivator but she said it took her 10 years to put her YouTube channel together so I was like okay well I don't feel so bad if Erin took 10 years but she said she was just nervous she didn't know how to do it either um, and then I didn't feel so bad <laughs> I was like okay I can, this. I can still do this and then there was another girl named Jennifer and she said it took her about seven years so I was like okay but now 2023 it is time it's time you yeah. gotta start you don't have that's why i called it my first my uh first show i called it just start because we can literally ex we can use literally make so many excuses that we talk ourselves out of it yes out of whatever dream we have and we all have a dream we all have something that it's like in high school you were saying well when i get older when i graduate i'm gonna do this and then you got to real life real life happened you went to college you may have gotten pregnant or got someone pregnant so you had to like figure out how to make a living as opposed to make your career happen but we still all have these dreams and it's like okay even doing in vogue it was like a dream come true for me but i still had things that i wanted to do on my own even right. with in vogue even with lucy pearl so i was like okay do this i have someone kind enough to help me uh put it together and jay his name is jay and um, he's like, Dawn, let's just put it, let's just put it out. You put, you do the videos and I'll edit them and put them together for you. And I was like, okay. <laughs> so that's how, the, the, if the lighting was gone, by the end of the day, the lighting was gone for me. It was like, I'm still putting it out. I'm still going to do it. I'm still going to do it. So yeah, my channel is very, it's just going to be very, very motivating. Yeah. You know? 
inspiring. Yeah. And I, and I like the message of the first episode because it's indicative of where you are with this. Yeah. It's like you, you made it, the, you drew a line in the sand. It was like, this is it. I'm right. getting started. That's yeah. Right. Okay, you got you to push yourself. You got to kick your own ass, as they say. Mm -hmm. And I had to push to the nest. Like, I wasn't ready. And I kept saying, no, it's not. It's like, what? You're, you're waiting, in, in my case, waiting for perfection. You know what I mean? Because. And there's no such thing. There's no such thing. No such thing. It's really hard because as a celebrity, I'm used to having a team around me. Everything was put into place for En Vogue. We didn't have to do anything except show up mm -hmm. for our first video, for our first photo shoot, for, you know. So it's, and it's been like, it was always like that with our group. And I'm, mm. I'm used to having somebody help, um, a team of people help. And I'm like, in this case, do your own video. You have a cell phone. I, my assistant reminds me all the time. She's like, Dawn, you had, you did a video at your dad's, um, at the cemetery that your dad is buried at. Mm. And it was beautiful. I was just out there one day with my dog and I had lunch with my dad and it's, it's a very peaceful, quiet place. So I was just like, oh, let me do my video here and show the public that I have these singing bowls and I have uh, incense and stuff that I can meditate with mm -hmm. and share with my dad. I think it was his birthday, yeah. something like that. And, and she was like, you did that out there without anybody's help. So you can do that here. But I'm like, but YouTube is a little bit different. So when you're trying to post videos on YouTube, I don't know how to edit mm -hmm. for that. And the video that I did on Instagram was just long enough and I didn't have to edit anything. So right. different. Yeah. But still, it's like I started to after a while I was like, OK, if I can't get anyone to help me with this YouTube thing, I'll just put it on Instagram because I know how to do that. Yeah. I'm, you know what I mean? <laughs> do it. So, yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm so I'm proud of myself, though. And so I'm going to do my videos probably once a week. I'll do another video. Mm -hmm. and used to it do more more and more often and i, I like shorts, shorts yeah. are to the point and they're fast and you know what i mean it's like you you get it done and it's over with so yeah yeah so, so will we will we hear any singing from you in any of these videos probably yes okay I <laughs> yes i will probably sing um i love that i honestly think that the public misses your voice oh. they really do Thank you so much, you guys. Uh, Chica, that means everything. That means oh. everything. Yes, I know. <laughs> Thank you so much, you guys. I I look forward, like I said in my video, in the one that you watched on YouTube, mm -hmm. my first, mm -hmm. I was like, okay, but people are used to hearing you sing. And I'm like, yeah, but that costs money. Getting in the studio to do an album and, and finishing it and having it done right. Mm -hmm. uh, these days what i learned too is that you don't have to have a huge budget we don't have to have the major label right you know what I mean? you have to do that as much as when we first started in 1990 it was all about the label it was all about this major system and now it's like oh my god i have the beauty of the internet and the beauty of i think napster is the first one even before the internet hit napster kind of turned it around and the industry changed because of napster and people realize that they could go straight to the fans and don't have to go through the major system if you don't have a major deal. You can still Absolutely. make it. Absolutely, yeah. The fact, the fact that I have a fan base is just like, I can't even, I can't express how grateful I am for that because I set a foundation being within Vogue and being with Lucy Pearl, I set a foundation that people who know who I am. That in itself is just like, thank you, Father. You know what I mean? Yeah. 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 So you're an actress too. Are you a part of SAG AFTRA? Yes, I am. Mm -hmm. So tell me a little bit about your feelings about the strike. How are you feeling about that? I'm really into it. I was getting too much done. Like, you know, my situation. Yeah. And I can't really talk about uh, it. Yeah. 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 Right? Um, but I really wasn't into what was going on. I was grateful to them. And every time I would pass by, because they had a couple of locations. One was in front of Paramount. Actually, there were four on Paramount Studios. So on each corner of Paramount Studios, every time I would go by, I would beat my horn and support them. <laughs> but I yeah. wasn't into it. i got to say, I wasn't into it as much as I could have to understand what was going on and why the strike. Right. Um, but 
the terms and now it's it seems to be okay so hopefully everybody's good really it's about the yeah so so if a young budding rapper hip-hop star reaches out to you you know from seeing you on youtube and seeing that you're out here being active and he wants you to bless his track with some vocals are you open to do that not really <laughs> I, I knew you were going to say that. I knew you were going to say that. I just know she can. <laughs> I just knew. <laughs> the reason you know, is because I did so many groups. I did Lucy Pearl and Vogue, of course, and Lucy Pearl. I did, you know, the thing with uh, a couple of things with, um, I did Firm Biz with The Firm. Mm -hmm. I did stuff with Dr. Dre and Snoop that I didn't get paid for, by the way. You know, I've, I've done other stuff with other people and I need to do my own. It's just time to be by myself. I've been in so many group situations and, mm -hmm. you know, if it's, please don't get me wrong. If like Ice Cube came to me and said I, he had a track, I'd be okay, okay, because that's cute. Yeah. Yes. But no, not an up and coming right now. I have to, if, if anything, I would get behind an artist. Yeah. Yes. But I got I have to, to reestablish myself in a sense you got to be when you take on someone else's career you have to be in a position where you can actually help them and if you can't even help yourself financially you know what i mean then how yeah. are you going to be to be responsible for someone else's career so you got to be careful how you step with that but yeah I, I don't think i would do that right now yeah so what is your hope for this youtube channel in your mind's eye, where is it going? My YouTube channel, I'm hoping that I can just, this is what I wanted to do. I actually did a reality show a few years back called LA Divas. <laughs> Kill me. And LA Divas, before I did the show and agreed to do the show, I told the producers that I'll, I'm, I'll do the show under, one, under two conditions. One, I'm not fighting with nobody. I don't get in people's faces. I'm not a Wait a minute, hold kid. on, Doran. Is it LA Divas or R&B Divas? LA R&B Divas, yes. Yeah, so okay, yes, 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 yes. Atlanta R&B Divas and LA R&B Divas. So yeah. we have both. I left out the um, R&B part. But um, yeah, I said I will do the show under two conditions. One, I'm not getting in nobody's face. I don't fight with nobody. That's not going to start now on a show with nobody. I don't care about ratings and all that stuff. My life is not a rating. And the other thing is that I will do it if I can continue to inspire and to motivate the way that I do naturally on my social media. And then, oh, yeah, we'll do, we'll let you do that, of course. And it never became that. Mm. So that really is, my heart is there. I know. Yeah, it's who I am. And I'm so proud of that. I'm glad because I've been through a lot and, and eventually I'm going to tell all my story. Like I told mm -hmm. you the other day, but yeah. Yeah. the things that I've been through, I haven't allowed life to kick my ass so much that it makes me angry enough to be bitter or vindictive mm -hmm. or trying to get back at somebody or... I just, I, I'm glad that I haven't changed. So my channel is literally about supporting other human beings, other people. We're all in this together. Ain't nobody better than anyone just because I'm a celebrity doesn't mean I don't go through shit. Amen. Or, or that I don't get down about stuff or that I don't um, get discouraged. I'm very discouraged a lot of times. And you know why. Yes. But I still keep going. And like, I keep saying that, but on my fifth episode, fourth, maybe even my fourth episode, I'm going to tell that part of the story because it's, it's just, I'm proud of myself for getting through this. I can't even believe it myself. Yeah. It's just, so I'm hoping that my channel, what I also learned while I've been going through this whole thing and trying to build this YouTube channel in, in my research of YouTube, I'm like, all of these young YouTubers, because I'm a YouTuber now. <laughs> okay. All of these young, I'm a, I'm a Tubi or, or yeah, YouTuber, but all these young YouTubers are like making millions of dollars, some of them, literally just telling their story. And mm -hmm. I'm like, I think the human, uh, the compassion part, um, 
understanding that we all go through stuff and we have to support each other. I think, especially because of COVID, kind of changed things. People were afraid of what's going on and exactly. weren't certain about it. Exactly. So, um, hold on. So, big old truck come in. <laughs> you see, I'm at Starbucks. And I'm across the street from it. I'm in the parking lot of it. So, um, I think we all need a respite. I go to YouTube because there's a few people that I watch. There's a guy named Ben who has a show called Elevate. And he's, an, he's from Australia. And his show is very short and sweet, which is how I learned to do short and sweet videos. That's why I said that. Mm -hmm. um, and um, his, his channel is mostly about remembering who you are. You know what mm -hmm. I mean? It's like we, we're in this together, this whole human race thing. We're all in this together and we don't all have the answers. We, nobody knows the shit. Nobody knows how to get through it. Yeah. We're just trying to help each other. Um, but he's a great motivator as well. And I love him. He's like I said, short and sweet. And then there's another guy named Kevin who has a show called, um, what is Kevin's the name of Kevin's show is, oh my God, what is Kevin's show? I love Kevin. I love them both. Like they're both great motivators in different ways. But Kevin talks about the narc. He talks about the narcissist and how mm. to do narcissistic personalities, your parents, your neighbors, your boss, you know what I mean? Um, so Kevin's very big on the narcissist and Kevin's show is called Express Words with a Z. <laughs> yeah, okay. I have to check that out. Yeah. I like that. Um, there's a woman, um, her her YouTube channel is MVMO, My View, My Opinion. And she basically takes situations that happen in public media uh -huh. and she brings them down and how it relates to our everyday lives. I love, love, love her channel. Okay. Yeah, yes. I'm going to have to check her out. Goodness. Check her out. About self-improvement mm -hmm. because what's going mm -hmm. on, I can't figure this shit out. Yeah. They have an agenda that we can't be a part of. They're not, like somebody always, um, I always say it all the time. There's a party going on and we're not part of it. We're not invited. That you know part, I mean? that, that part. So it's, it's really difficult to get into a personal opinion about politics. I stay away from it. Mm -hmm. I stay away from politics. Mm -hmm. I, from, um, I just stay away from, because it's so difficult to, to even know from day to day if they're telling the truth. Most mm -hmm. times they're not. Um, you know what I mean? We had a black president for how long? And and no changes were done for us. So I, I try to stay away from that. But mm -hmm. I think because within ourselves, each individual can fix. We can fix the world on a global scale if we fix each other inside. Like you fix you, I fix me. And then we come together as a human race. I think mm -hmm. that's, that's my point. Yeah. 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 It's like a virus in a good way. Exactly. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Absolutely. So I think that you're going to get an influx of people to your YouTube page. And um, I you. think that you are off to a great start. I, I really, really enjoyed it. <laughs> oh, my God. That means everything. Thank yeah. you so much. I'm so grateful, too, that you had, like, it's nice to be, it's nice to talk to someone who you've already talked to before because you and I had that first interview years ago. Yeah. You're not a bullshit. You're not a What's the right word? You are not a messy type of, um, because there's a lot of, like, I'm not going to name names, I was going to say, but there's yeah. a couple of uh, interviews that I did that I was very disappointed because I thought they befriended me. I thought we were having a great conversation and they were really nasty in the end. So mm. people can be addictive and you don't even know about it. And you're not that. You no. You're no bullshit. Uh, and, no. And can I and can I be, can I, full transparency, yes. Dawn and I, I'm, I'm talking to the people out there, Dawn and I had a, a misunderstanding. Yes. And, and I'm bringing this up because this is true to what you say about you work on you and I work on me and we can come together. Mm -hmm. We had a misunderstanding and the only thing that was missing was communication. And we right. wound up communicating and I think that our relationship is stronger than it was before. I Agree. Yeah. I agree, Chike. Yeah. Right. And if yep. everybody would just take a piece of that, you know, sometimes it's just a matter of taking a pause and really looking at things and communication. That's right. 
Yeah. It's hard with the government because they're not going to communicate truth. They're just not about that. Like well, I'm talking Maxine, about individuals. I'm not talking about entities. I'm talking about individuals. Yeah. No, saying the girls' channel is about talking about the things that are going on and bringing them down to. to oh yeah, 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 yeah. To our everyday world. Um, but yes, individually, absolutely. Like I was telling Maxine from my group years ago, um, I was saying that since I've been born, there's been 12 presidents. I wasn't even old enough. Of course, when you're born, you don't know what a president is. But as I started to understand politics and see things as a kid, they all make the same promises. They all make the same lies and they never ever follow through with anything. So it's about, it's about human beings helping each other figure things out. I think we're coming to the end of the, of the controlling, you know, the government controlling everybody. Mm. It's not one thing controlling all of us. We're, we're realizing that as human beings, we are in control. Mm. We run, we are, you know what I mean? This is our planet as, as human beings. So yeah. important part of it, there's only a small part in government, but we are the billions of people. So. I think things are changing for the good, but yeah, I think individually, that's where I'm at about, as far as my channel is concerned, helping the individual to make sense of certain things with them, within themselves, reminding everybody that they are gods. We are within ourselves connection to God, source God energy. So that's where I'm at, Chike. You're and starting I, to sound like an evangelist, Ms. Dawn Robinson. <laughs> Preach to the people. <laughs> If I'm part, how do they say it? My dad gave, my dad and my mom gave birth to me or had me, so I am part of each of them. So mm. if I'm part, God is my father, I'm part of him. Yeah. So that's what I mean when I say we are God. You know, we yeah. are God. A source God energy. Yeah. Right. So thank you, Chico. It's so great to talk to you again. I know. I'm sorry. I love you, love you, love you, love you. And you know what? You know, you, you want to talk to some of your people? Yes, 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 yes. Questions, everyone? You know, we're going to take questions. Anybody have any questions? I love that thought. Let's see. Uh, Let me see. As soon as I talk, I start asking, like, let's talk. <laughs> Hi, Duran. How are you? I know Duran very well. It's like romper room. Hi. Oh, I can see Cindy. Hi, Tony. <laughs> wow, yes, yeah, it's 5D. We're going to 5D. That's right. We are out of the 3D matrix. Yes, unplug. Are you still, are working, you still on working on the book? Yes. yes, I saw that. Yes, I am. Yes, I just talked to you about yes. that, Chike. You did. Yes, you did. Yep. yep. How can I help your goal? Oh, Eric, thank you so much for offering. Chike, if. I was asking the guy that helped me put my channel together. We forgot to put my um, PayPal information oh. in there. Oh, okay. And it's just, uh, it's just Don Robinson. I don't, you know, because on Cash App you have like a, a an app, an at. Mm -hmm. So it's at. So it was it was that, but I don't have that anymore um, because I had it, my card was compromised, so I got rid of it. Um, but I'm gonna try to put my PayPal up and they could see that and hopefully okay you know, okay that way. yeah thank you nisi hi nisi. that's nisi is my um remember we talked to the other day yes uh, hi nisi hey yeah. nisi follow me nisi follow me oh she's not following me Chica, what she tells me about your page all the time so she has to be following. oh she's you got follow two pages. following me already then. yeah because you have two pages so yes i don't know yeah i don't know which one she's following but Okay, Eric, thank you so much. I got you, Queen. Oh, I love you. That is so sweet. Thank you, Eric. How, how does it feel to receive like all this love like this? Oh, my God. I wish you guys could really understand. Like, how do I put it? I know the world sees us as... Almost like, um, not, not subhuman, but you know, you're a celebrity. You're, you know what I mean? It's like, but my heart and my, I, I think I've always shown this. I look at my old interviews and I'm like, I can see my youngness. I can see that I wasn't, 
so sure of myself. I wasn't so confident like I am now, but I still have that warmness, that kindness, that the things that people eventually took advantage of. When we mm. first started, I was little, and I'm still that kindness, and I'm, I'm grateful for that. So when I feel this love, it's like, oh my God, Father, thank you for, I don't know, the, it's just, I can't, it's overwhelming almost, mm. you know what I mean? Yeah. Wonderful. You know what I mean? When you see somebody that you haven't seen in a long time, and they just smile at you, and <laughs> she can't, <laughs> that feeling but like yeah hundreds of people yeah, yeah. <laughs> Heart. like it never i never get used to it i never say oh that's you know no my god no i'm always always grateful always always real about it exactly say being thank you i sure will <laughs> yo, yo, i think it's jolie that's true when when we meet when we met you you were so down to thank you eric oh my god so have your picture together <laughs> thank you couldn't today because I was trying to fix the weather and do all kinds of stuff, but it's all good. So Dawn, shout out what your official page is. They, we didn't do that. Okay, yes, uh, the YouTube page is official Dawn Robinson, and the name of the show is Shine, and it's spelled S S H H Y N E. Um, when we did a name check on the domains, it was like S H I N E was gone completely. Mm. I didn't do anything for sh for Shine with. Um, S H I N E, and everything was taken. Like you know, restaurants. Uh, if you want to do um, a clothing line, shine. Everything was shine was gone, so mm. I had to spell it differently. But I like the way it's spelled. It still means the same thing. Yeah. And my whole thing is, you know, stay shiny. Make sure you shine from within because that's the only thing we have is our presence. Don't let the world dim your light. Like don't let that happen. You know, be yourself. So, yeah, official Dawn Robinson, shine. It's the name of the show. Thank you for posting that. Someone posted it. Oh, that must have been. Okay, thank you so much. Maybe Nisi. Hi, David. Okay, Mr. Worldwide. <laughs> Sean, Sean, how are you? you? Sean, how are you? Hi, Yolanda from high school, Oakland High. Hey, Yolanda, oh my God. Oh, I haven't heard from you in years. How are you, Yolanda? I hope you're doing well. Hi, do, hi, Sean. I think, I think Sean, aren't you in, I think he's in, I'm getting it wrong, but I think he's in Jamaica or Tobago, Tobago. Tell me where you're from, Sean. Hey, hey. Oh, I love you too, Sean. <laughs> Don't be mad because I forgot where you're from. Hi, Vanessa. My crew is here. Yes, Duran, you're absolutely right. I'm so grateful. Do you have a name for your fans like a lot of celebrities do? Do, do you call your fans? You no, know what's crazy? They started calling themselves the Dauntourage. I like that. I was like, yes! Yes, exactly. <laughs> oh, my God. I was like. I like um, but like my that. former manager tried to take the name and sell it. Oh, yeah. So he's, he did a, a freaking, he took all the names that I had for like even, um, uh, Dawn, Dawn, what is it? Dawn Entourage and Diva Menery. That's a good. I was because if, if you didn't have one, I was going to give you one. What you get? Okay, let's talk about it later. Because if you say it, he'll get it. So yeah. Okay. Let's yeah. Wait. Let's just wait. <laughs> yeah, but um, they started calling themselves the Dawn Entourage. I was like, that is so bomb. And so I was going to call my fans my Dawn Entourage, but. I, I, I got to see about that because legally I don't want to be liable for anything and I don't want him right. getting, you know, financially uh, successful off of my back. So. Right. They're the, one, they're the ones that came up with that. Rock Sean and has a good one. Did you see Sean's? Rock and Robbins? <laughs> uh, yeah, Rock, Rock and Robbins. I like that. I like that. Rock and Robbins. I think he said that before on another interview that I did. Thanks, Sean. I like that. Jerusalem. Is, is, is there going to be a particular day of the week that you're going to do it or you're just going to put them out like every week? I think once a week and probably because I want to do shorts. I really believe that shorts are like it. Uh, it's like a preview to what you're going to talk about on your show. Um, mm -hmm. and so 
probably do Thursdays instead of Fridays. I had to do today because of other situations and circumstances, but um, I'll probably do every Thursday. Okay. And you know what I mean? So, because I think, excuse me, Fridays, everybody's busy mm -hmm. and they sound like shit, work's over, I gotta go. <laughs> just, just sit around, you know what I mean? Don't and I like the you. fact that you're gonna give us something to go into the weekend with. You know, yeah. you give us a little nugget for the weekend. And that's but, nice. But not so close, thank you. But not yeah. so close to the weekend that everybody's busy packing, right. trying to get out on a Friday, you leave and work. You don't have no time to watch Dawn or nothing. You love me and I'm grateful, but um, I know people are busy. So I might do Thursdays. And then I'm also gonna do, um, um, what is it? Uh, Music Mondays. I'm going to DJ music on Mondays. So Music Mondays, DJ Diva or DJ Dawn, whichever I prefer. Because I used to do this. I just used to put music up on Fridays and people were like, Dawn, you are good. Like, damn, you brought music into the weekend. It was Fridays and I would do that all the time. And they're like, wow, you need to DJ. Not a real DJ. I'm not taking that from real DJs because I'm not skilled like that. But mm -hmm. just playing music that feels good for my childhood and going into the week. Because we need mm -hmm. something to stuck here. yeah, and get that going. So, yeah. Yeah, yeah that would be interesting, because I'd like to know, like, who you're listening to, who inspires you. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yep. And I, I am a music connoisseur. Don't mess with me when it comes to rock, R&B, soul, uh, even gospel. Yeah, I'm not. I don't know if you ever saw the episode where, where I did with In Vogue, where we did um, Don't Forget the Music. Yes. Yes. I, that was fun. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> Uh, every the girls were stumped on. I was like, I know this. I know this song, the country western lane. I was like, oh yeah. And Cindy was like, Don, are you sure? And I was yes, yes. And ding ding ding. We got Yo, yeah. Can I tell you that I so love when you do your Cindy because you're so spot on with her voice. <laughs> you are good. Cindy, oh my gosh, because it's so in my head, and I miss her. I miss all of them. But yeah, yeah Cindy's voice right there, especially because on the beginning of waiting on you. Mm -hmm. Hi, Don. It's, hi, Don. It's Cindy. It's all, it's all nasal. It's all here. <laughs> That's Cindy. Oh, my God. It's so her. Oh. Mark, Mac. Mac Wave. How are you? Love you, too, Mac. He always supports, too. Thank you so much for being here. But thank you, Chike, for allowing me, because now your, your interview is going to start, I'm sure, a lot of other people coming in and saying they want to talk to me about and I love that. Anybody that has time to talk to me, I have time to talk to them. So I'm always grateful. I love that. Yeah. I so love that for you. Yeah, and I, you. I'm I'm wishing you great success with this and that it takes off the way you want it to. Exactly. Yeah. Thank you so much. I mean, I don't see why not. There's a million other people on YouTube. And I love YouTube because it, well, some people have a problem with YouTube. I guess getting monetized is hard for them or speaking your truth seems to be a problem with with a lot of handlers in society yeah so i'm That's hoping youtube gives me that freedom because otherwise what are we doing if we're not allowing people to speak their mind whether you like my opinion or not right you know what i mean we all have the right to speak that that truth within ourselves and i'm yes. like if you like what i have to say then don't watch my channel but don't stop me from speaking my truth you know right I mean? right yeah, right. yeah. So i hope um i hope they're still going to be cool once I start going into some topics that may be a little bit, you know, spicy, yeah. I'm not, I'm not going to stop myself from speaking, you know? Yeah. Um, and I think a little people, some people may be a little taken aback about getting to know more of you, mm -hmm. you know, in yeah. your personality, but you know, you're a human being, you're a whole person. <laughs> and I can't be anything but myself. I don't, I don't know anybody that li if you live your life, for other people to like you, you won't be happy. Amen. You have to be who you are, period. Yeah. So everything that I've gone through, though, I love I love what I'm learning about myself because of everything that I've gone through. Mm -hmm. And you know what I'm talking about? Yeah. yeah. It's, yeah. It's, I can't, can't even express how powerful I feel now that I've gone through it and I'm, I'm still in the trenches of it and, and getting through my every day and learning about myself as a person. Sometimes I think they call it the dark night of the soul. You got to go on your own journey on your own mm -hmm. and separate yourself from your family. Like yeah. I talk to my mom, I miss her, I miss my sister, but 
I had to cut them off because it was abusive, first of all, um, verbally. It wasn't physically abusive, but it was not supportive like I am. You know what I mean? And I started to look around me like, wait a minute. I've been supporting my family all these years and giving what I didn't have. I didn't even have it for me, but I gave to my family and they can't be there for me. So I had to like, okay, you got to regroup. And I'm going to do this in a show as well, because this is important to talk about as far as cutting off the things that no longer serve you, even if it means your mother, your father. That's my mom. You can't replace your mother. You can replace friends, cousins. <laughs> you know, <laughs> and brothers you call you you call other people sister you call other people brother but you can't replace your mom yeah and that's the part that hurts me the most yeah but it's a part that had to happen and now i'm growing from this like i'm growing and i'm i don't know i just feel like i'm i'm becoming a new person a new me yeah so it's the chrysalis turning into the butterfly yes yes yes, yes. Mm -hmm. yeah, i used to see that name at the label a record label and i was like what does chrysalis mean mm -hmm. yes i'm definitely mm -hmm. becoming the butterfly yeah. yeah i love that so i'm gonna ask this one more question because someone posted it they asked are you gonna perform again anywhere absolutely but I, i'm not quite ready for that yet like i was saying mm -hmm. in my in my if they see my youtube um just start it re it even though I say you always try to wait for the perfect time and the right amount of money and this and that and the other thing, I still have to have it where I can't just, you, you, you have to have money to get in the studio. You gotta pay studio time, you gotta pay musicians or a producer or both. You gotta pay writers and I write too, but you know what I mean? So you have to have a team of people to do that. And yes. I'm quite ready financially to do that yet so mm -hmm. yes i will perform and yes i will um absolutely I'll do an album like i can't wait for that i, I really mm -hmm. look forward to it. sometimes i have to listen to my old stuff and i'm like oh my god you still got it <laughs> the hell because we forget. we forget oh my god we forget it's like i talked to anita baker one time because she was going to retire mm -hmm. and mm -hmm. i uh, and this was on a DM, and I said, Anita, I, I want you to know that I understand sometimes the phone doesn't ring and people forget about you. I said, but you are so loved. You are so loved. You are so special. You are such a, you're Anita Baker. Like, there is no one like you. And it's Didn't not I say that to you on the phone the other night? I said that to you about you the other night. Remember I said that on the phone to you? <laughs> you did. Yes, yes. Yes, Chike, and thank you. And then, and then look what happened to Miss Miss Baker. Look what happened. She stepped back out there, and look what happened. She sure did. Um, but I had to tell her that I understand what it feels like to be kind of isolated and not sure of things. And she said, well, you know how it is. I, I've been in this for such a long time, and I'm tired of the games, mm. and I'm tired of mm. I know, but those people are not the ones that keep you going. It's your fans. Yeah. I'm, I'm like a peer because I'm in your industry. I'm still a fan and I love, I just want you to know, no matter what, the industry can beat you down. It can make you feel like giving up and, and please don't. And she said, oh my God, I said, I said, you're the reason literally in the audition, um, I met the guy at a concert who said his friends are having an audition and, and he said, and I want to hear you sing. So, you know, you can come to my house. And I said, I do not know you. <laughs> I am not coming to your house. I live with my parents. You can come to their house in here. And so he came and I sang Rapture, Anita Baker. Mm. Um sing some to um been so long, I think. Off of that out al Rapture album. Mm. And he was like, Okay. You, you. So I told her what she means to me is much more than just a singer. You know what I mean? You you have I made the audition because of you. Because of you. Yeah. She's like, wow. Yeah. So I just told her, I reminded her, don't give up. No matter what. Mm -hmm. It can be wicked. It's wicked. These people are not happy. That some of them are musicians that, that never made it. And so they had to work at a label or they weren't as good as us. And mm. so they had to work at a label. And some of them are bitter. Mm -hmm. Some of them are 
angry about life in general, whatever their upbringing was as a child, and they're angry and they take it out on us. Yeah. They're not happy yeah. people. So don't let that discourage you. Yeah. You know what I mean? And that, yeah. that, I tell myself the same thing. And, see, I'm, I'm, so I'm gonna say this and then I'll, I'll let you go yeah. that that sentiment that you just said mm -hmm. i talk to a lot of artists and they're all basically in the same place everyone's getting fed up with the way things have been exactly. and there needs to be some type of change and i think that there is a we're, i think that we're in the middle of a movement about mm -hmm. that very thing i think so. and so i think in the next five to ten years the industry as, as we know it is going to change yeah i hope so because the thing that's frustrating is that you don't hear about white rock artists or or even country artists going through the same financial you don't hear the dixie chick saying that they're financially bound right they're not making you don't hear about taylor swift or uh what's his name um garth brooks being broke mm -hmm. you never hear you hear this multi-million i think he's a billionaire now if i if i'm correct and great, I'm, I'm happy for all of them. I know those artists because I love their music, especially the Dixie Chicks, because their harmonies are just, Natalie is my girl. I love her voice, and I love the Dixie mm -hmm. Chicks. I love that they stood behind her when she just made a comment about something that people tore her down for. Mm -hmm. Time, those white rock artists don't stand in our corner as black artists to try to figure out what's going on with this. How come we don't get paid the same amount of money as artists as they do? You know what right. I mean? So, I know they have their own lives too, and everybody's got their, because I hate it when people say, well, why don't you get on board with this and get on board with that? And I'm like, because I don't have time. I got to figure out my own on board with me. <laughs> you know what I mean? So it's not like they got to take up for me, but there are organizations like um, Music Cares, and I always tell, music doesn't care. I say that all the time. Because <laughs> I haven't seen it. I haven't felt that. You know, it's like, yeah. And we deserve so much better. Yeah. At the same time, like you said, there's a movement happening. Change is coming. And I feel it. I feel like even in, in the government, like people are seeing the truth of what's happening. Yeah. They're seeing right through the bullshit. They're seeing yeah. right through the bullshit. So yeah. yay. So glad about that. Let's see Chicken. Doran, shout out your YouTube page one more time. Okay. We always stand up for others. Oh, the sweet rainy. Is it rain? Papillon? That's beautiful. You must be in France, Rain. Big facts. Thanks, Matt. She's one of my loyal followers. Is she? Beautiful. Yeah. Hey, I just saw your day. Hi, hi. To Moulin. Oh, hi. How are you, sweetie? Yes, yes, yes. DJ Erica, how are you? I did an interview with her, too. Hi, DJ Erica. Um, my YouTube page, I'm sorry, Chike, is Official Dawn Robinson, and the name of my show is Shine, S-H-H-Y-N-E. And the first episode is already out, y'all, so you can go view that, subscribe. Um, I <laughs> suspect that your number should, like, really jump up tonight because people now know what's going on. Yeah. Thank you, Chike. I have to thank you. You know, when I did those 105 interviews in... 2020 the height of covid mm -hmm. yours was one of them um mm -hmm. a lot of the i call you guys journalists but somebody my my assistant was like they're not journalists but I, you're a journalist right chike would you call i consider it? myself a journalist. journalist i consider myself a journalist ha 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 nisi <laughs> <laughs> some of the journalists were like well if, if you do my channel would you mind doing my channel i'm like not at all i would love to and they're like, well, I don't have a lot of followers. I only have like 60 followers or 22 followers. And I was like, I don't need a bunch of followers. It's okay. Mm -hmm. Because, and they're like, oh, no. One of them said, I'm not like Ellen or Oprah. I only have 22 followers. And I said, it's okay. I said, because Oprah's not looking for me right now. Ellen's not trying to call me. I don't hear anything from Jimmy Farrell or Jimmy Fallon or whatever those people are. I don't, none of them are trying to contact me but the people want to talk to me. So yeah. I consider myself a people's diva because I really like, I love people. I just always have, Chica. It's always been this way. Um, and I think people feel my realness. That's what I hope. That's what I really yeah. hope. Yeah. Feeling my heart and who I really am. 
So and it's I because think, of you. I, I, like I you, think amongst your amongst your friends and your your fans, I should say, not your friends, your fans. Mm -hmm. I think all of us kind of have the same sentiment. You know, for a lot of us, and I've talked to quite a few of them. Uh -huh. For a lot of us, you were in vogue. What? You were in vogue for us. God. Wow. So, and I, and I'm gonna keep it all the way real. I love the group, wow. but I haven't wow. I haven't spent any of my hard earned money on that group since you left because it's not the same for me. Chick Okay. Not no hate to anyone. It's just I love you. <laughs> I love you. I, I react this way because so many people have said that. Um, I was scared to read a lot of the comments. I remember J Lo was on a um, on a, I think she was on the Letterman show or Jay Leno show, and he was like, "Well, you must have. It must be hard to read all these comments about yourself." And she's like, "Why would I meet, read the bad comments about myself? Mm. First of all, those people don't know me." But, and so I'm still scared to read them. And so I don't read them. And my assistant was reading some of them and she's like, Diva, they really love you. So I started going on there and reading them myself. And what you said just now, Chike, is what a lot of them feel. No joke. And it's like, I, I, I'm blown away. I'm so grateful that I stayed who I was. My integrity, who I am a person. I'm so glad that I didn't let any of the evil or the wicked or the anger change me. Like literally, they kicked me out of the group for doing the same exact thing that Terry did and I still to this day. It's 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 overwhelming. Like Maxine and I had this conversation in 2019 and I couldn't go further. We're going to work on the Funky Divas together and I was like, "Maxine, I'm sorry." I said, I know we've worked on stuff and we got the, the right to the name, Funky Divas and all that stuff, but I cannot work with you and go any further until I find out why all these things happened. Did you, you know? And she's like, well, do I, you know, Sylvia Roan was in charge and we were just brand new. I said, yeah, that was 1997. I get that. I get that. But then, then you guys got kicked off the label. And in 2010, I came back to the group for a year. It's actually 2009. And we were looking for a deal at the time. And you guys turned your backs on me again. There was no Sylvia your own. There was no label. So you mm -hmm. can't blame her for everything. Like, be a woman about it and just stand up and say, you know, if she would have told the press and the fans, we did this to Dawn. We were unfair to her. We treated her unfairly. We treated Terry totally different than we treated Dawn. I would have been like, you know what, Maxine, I got your back forever. I love you. I love her anyway. But I really love you because you're a stand-up woman. And I respect your ass for that. But she never did it. She still has it. I'm the only one talking about me and telling the truth about me. Yeah. So thank you, Chike. I swear it means it's like God is telling me you didn't have to you didn't have to have Maxine or Cindy or Terry validate you or vindicate yeah. me. You know what I yeah. mean? I didn't have, to have them vindicate me and say, It was our fault. We kicked on out for no reason. The fans can see through everything and there's a few interviews actually that I did back in the day. And, and like these little clips where I'm like, uh, we were on a show, I want to say in Switzerland. And the guy was like, well, would any of you ladies, you know, date a guy who had no money, a bloke, I think he called him, with no money, and I, who was broke, he said. And I said, well, we're broke. <laughs> and yes. all, yeah. all the girls sitting next to me like were like laughing, but none of them refuted it. None mm. of them said, no, no, that's not true. We're not broke. Because we were broke. They didn't refute that. And even when I did all those 105 interviews, none of the girls came out and said, Dawn, that's not true. We were millionaires because we weren't. Right. You can't be a millionaire with two pennies a record. But I digress. Chike, yeah. I love you for your words. I swear it, it's, it chokes me up. I'm just like, oh, my God, I'm supposed to be here still. Yes. I'm supposed to be out there. Yes. I have love still. I have love. And that means so much. Your words are everything. And yes. the fact that you gave me the plat the, your platform to speak again and, and connect with the fans. Yeah. Oh, thank you, Rogers. What's his name? P. Rogers. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, thank you. So, Hair's blowing all over the place, but. Uh, question sidebar outside of, of, of this. Do you get hit on a lot? Not in my situation. She can't know my situation. No, besides that, you're, that doesn't take away from, you're still fine. <laughs> you're fine. Okay. 
I don't think that I have, you know, when I, when I get ready for an interview, I have to lipstick, I get my hair done and all of that stuff. So when I'm just walking around every day, I, most times I have on a pair of sweats <laughs> and I don't look, I do, I do get hit on. Okay. I do. Yeah. Cause you're fine. <laughs> okay. Well, you're handsome. I appreciate oh, that. Oh, thank you. Thank you. You're fashionable, like I said. You like, you know what I mean? You look I like a DJ. Yep, uh, you should do. Yeah, I'll and take I, that. I'll take I, it. You look like a DJ. So, so. I'll take it. Thank you. That means everything. It really does. Shout out, out your, um, shout out your Twitter where people can like follow you and find you. Oh, Twitter. Ooh, Twitter is. Or X, excuse me. It's yes, X now. Yes, it's X now. Right. Um, Dawn Robinson, I think it's just Dawn Robinson, and then my Facebook is Dawn Robinson Diva, and then my TikTok is, ah, I don't even know. I gotta put a, <laughs> that's on my page, it's on my YouTube page. So y'all gotta go to my YouTube page to see that, ha <laughs> ha. So now, now <laughs> what you're gonna have to do, what you're gonna have to do to your Instagram and your, your, your X, mm -hmm. you're gonna, and your TikTok, you're gonna have to put link in bio and then you're gonna have to put like all your stuff because now you're a youtuber now so yeah. you have to join the ranks of putting your stuff in your bio exactly and i haven't done that stuff TikTok has been sitting there probably a year over a year now and i just literally like day before yesterday started putting stuff on there okay. i don't know how to work okay this i like there's a home page but then i don't have my own i don't know I, I guess I just don't know how to work it. Yeah. Got to figure it well, out. Well, you can't ask me because I'm just a lurker on TikTok. <laughs> I don't post <laughs> anything. I'm just there looking. <laughs> you, don't to do it. You, you don't even know. Oh, my God. <laughs> I'll, I'll figure it out, though. So, because I figured out how to put the picture on there, and I just started doing that, too. Yeah, yeah. If anybody knows how to... Cause I have Jay helping me with my page, but I want to be able to post stuff on my on my um, on my YouTube page. Yeah, and I'm still baffled by that. You had to get on and a train today to go. Do know you do know that you can go live on YouTube, right? Wow! Really? Mm -hmm. Oh my mm -hmm. god! Mm -hmm. how, how come I? I haven't seen. We'll talk. That. I mean, call me. We'll talk. We'll okay. talk. Yeah, well, you have a lot of great ideas, Chica. Yeah. Really, you do. You do. You have a lot. Let me see. Uh, you know what, Duran? What did Duran say? I didn't see it. Ah, I missed. Tap for million. Okay, that's. You know, there's a lot of haters, so <laughs> the fake accounts come up. I see those, and I'm so. I am so grateful when I see haters because that is my gauge. I told you this the other night. That yes. is. My Yes, because they're quiet otherwise. But it's when you start doing something, the haters come around. I'm like, oh, good, mm -hmm. finally. And that means that I'm in the right lane, man. I know that. That's my game. Mm -hmm. love seeing the haters. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Well, Henry, how are you? Or Henry Wall, it's actually his name. Robert, how are you? Oh, real Jazz Smith. Hi, Jazz, how are you? Oh, I hug your soul. Oh my goodness, that's sweet. Ta Tara, I think her name is Tara. She's a singer too, if I remember. Mo Seven. How are you? Oh, thank you so much, Mo. I'm good. I'm good. Thank you. It's good to be back. I tell you. I swear. <laughs> oh, Sean said you have been beautiful from day. Oh, you guys. My gosh. Wow. So I'm normally. On, on my show mm -hmm. I get, get people to speak things to existence and, yep. they, and it tends to work it tends to work oh. so I'm going to say a few things I would like to see either Maybelline or Max Factor or L'Oreal or Neutrogena I would like to see them call you because your yep. face needs to be on their product. Their product needs to be on your face. They need to do an endorsement deal with you. Check this out, Chike. I have Diva Culture is my, my brand. 
And so I want to go through either Mac, you know, because I'm looking at this young lady, she has a, a lipstick line called Lip Bar. And she's been growing on, she, she has the most fabulous colors I've ever seen. And I usually like, you know, I'll be doing on my channel, especially I'll be doing like blue or green lipstick. I'm very, you know, I did yeah. that with my inner stuff. So she has all those colors. Like, she's fabulous. And she's got, she's growing. I see her at CVS and she's always posting videos and I support her. She doesn't really know that I'm on her page because I haven't seen her talk to me directly, but I'm supporting her because I see this young black woman. Actually, they were on Shark Tank. Mm. And wonderful called her and her partner, two, two women, he called them colorful roaches. You're roaches. You're not going to make it. And he calls everybody roaches. No, he, everybody. It's not just black. Okay. Can everybody can get it. Okay. Everybody gets it. He doesn't care who you are. And um, he's called families with children on there. He's like, he, roaches. You're all roaches. Run off. He's so mean. But he, he's, he has love in his heart, but it's, it's his way of being an asshole. And he told them that they weren't going to make it. They're roaches to him. And here she is. Like, they, they made it. So she's got lip bar at CVS. Mm. Like, okay, maybe. It's so I'm like, do I go through... Do I go through Mac? Because Mac is going to get a huge piece of what I do. They're not going through Mac. They did their own thing. And I don't know how they have their brand out there, but they are in CVS. And then I see Tabitha Brown, who I love and adore. She and her family are so supportive of, mm -hmm. of her. Mm -hmm. She's the one with the brand. Family yes. is included. All Browns are included and they support her. Mm -hmm. She's the most beautiful soul. And right now she's in Target. She, she calls it the Target. I'm at the Target, y'all. <laughs> and she has all her products. Donna, her hair, Donna. <laughs> she's always at Target because she has all these products. I'm like, how? Financially, you have to have the money to do it. And I'm like, Ugh, there's got to be a way. So I put it or, out there. Or, or an investor will come along that believes in what you're, it is that you're trying to do. And they invest. This is why I speak it into existence. And Jorian, I see what you were doing and I support your movement. I like how you move. You know how the marketing thing goes. Yes. I like what you're doing. Thank you. I see what you're doing. Okay. Thank you so much. Um, that's what I'm going to speak into existence. You just spoke that and I stand in agreement with you that the investor part, because it takes money. It's like no man is an island. We can't do this on our own. We need a team around us or at least one financial support that can help you facilitate your dreams yes absolutely it's very very challenging to do it otherwise but i have a brand already i have a name that people recognize i'm just like where are the people and it's funny even during those interviews yours included in 2019 um there was a young lady that had a great uh she had a fabulous line of products she sent me a box of stuff chike i swear to god she was like Look at my, my nail polishes. Like her nail polishes, the bottles that her nail polish was in was thick. Mm. You just keep nail polish, a bottle, and it shadows all over the ground. Hers were like thick. The glass was so um, quality. It was great quality. And I was like, how did you start your brand? Like you have T-shirts. You got sweatshirts. I took a picture in her sweatshirt and put it on my page, and I got all of these likes. And I'm doing this mm. for her. Yeah. But she wouldn't give her connection to her i was like okay she's like well if i give that to you you're gonna take all my fans i'm like girl i had fans before i met you don't be as that part women, as black women we can support each other why why not i'm not taking yeah. anything away from you your products are that good you're gonna have what you have and i'm gonna have what i have in fact i said if you go in in uh, cvs or in walgreens you see you know maybelline revlon Wild, uh, wild, what is it? Wet and wild. Everybody has a place and everybody gets business and everybody makes money. And so she. See, and and, and here, here's the lesson, children, for that one. I would have come to you and worked out a limited contract program where you would have been my model for a limited amount of time for yes. exchange of me giving you that information. Well, That's what I would have done. Because I was trying to do a lipstick line. Mm -hmm. And partner up with her because she knows the connections to the containers, mm -hmm. um, the colors, the product. But she mm -hmm. had never had a lipstick line before and she wanted she wanted 50% at first and I was like, no. I said, no, you're, at this point you're doing something new that you have never done before. And you're using my name and my likeness. I have a brand. 
do not do. And so I, I offered her 30% and she was like, no, that doesn't work for me. And so we never did it, but she wasn't willing to give me her, her connections. You know what I mean? And so I'm like, okay, somebody else sent me lipstick while I was doing those interviews as well. And she's in Jamaica and she's in Jamaica. And she's like, Dawn, would you wear my lipstick? And I did that and I took a picture as well. And I'm like, can you tell me how you did this? You got a lipstick line that's a vegan line, mm -hmm. but I just want to start a one. And she's like, oh, well, I don't have those people anymore. And I don't have this. I was like, I could tell she didn't want to give me the, it's funny. I did that for her, but she couldn't do that in return. So people are people and it's all good. Chica, I swear. Mark my words, diva culture is going to be a break. Hey. That is Amen. My, right. A woman Stand in agreement. Thank you, Chike. Yes. I love you, Nelly, too, because you're just as positive. Yeah. You get it. You really do. Yeah. Dawn, you know I love you. I love you, Chike. I'm going to let you go. And yeah. um, just just so that people know, Dawn and I will revisit um, in the future, further down the line of her yeah. her YouTube career. <laughs> and um, <laughs> okay, I'm still nervous about that, because what I have to say. I know. I know, wow. but what was, what was your message today in your first episode? What was your message? Well, which part? No. <laughs> what I said. What well, I said. today, your episode today. What was the message? Oh, just start. Just start. Just that, start. That it, started. it started. It started. So started. now you got to continue. Yeah. <laughs> but that particular episode is going to be. That's going to change everything. It is. You know. It's, yeah, yeah. It's it, really big. It is. Talking in codes for a reason. Yeah. Yeah, I love knowing something that no one else knows because I, I I want them to have that anticipation. I want it, that because it's going to be huge. It's going to be great. It is. It's going to be wonderful. Yeah, I think so too. I'm proud of myself, and I know they're going to be proud of me as well. It's just yeah, I would be proud of anyone who's done what I'm doing. You know, yeah. I'm proud of people anyway, just on a daily basis. So to see when I'm doing this part, yeah. But love you so much, Chico. Yes. I adore you. And, I and, and you're you're a rock star, figuratively and literally, literally and figuratively. Well, you're a rock star. Thank you so much. Yeah. Thank you. I'm connected, and I'm glad that yes. you're the first. I did my my new interview for my new page with that. That means a lot to me. Yeah. I adore you. All right, lovey. I'm gonna let you go. Thank um, you. call me if you need me. I sure. Well, I'm gonna call you anyway. So okay. maybe not today. Inside Starbucks work that's why i was here okay but you i thank you for this time because you you took out time on your day to do this with me too oh it means it it's, it's my pleasure yes okay babe. thank y'all for you tuning guys. in thank you everybody for tuning in <laughs> hold on Chike. one one okay. second love okay georgia watching oh you're watching with your husband okay guys thank you i don't know your name but thank you very much both of you for watching uh Flow, Taradon, yes, Tara, 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 so beautiful. Thank you, Tara. You are too, honey. Dawn is super cool. Oh, thank you, Chris. Wow. All right. I love that you get all this love. I love that. Me too, Chike. London, somebody from London. That's my second home. You see? Do you see that, Chike? I am boss. Yes. Mo. How are you? That on the other side of the pond. That is my. Who is? Any news on your autobiography? I'm still working on that. I just talked about that earlier, but yeah, I'm working on that now. What I have an introduction and two chapters, and I think I might have a um, a ghostwriter because I, I finishing this book for me has been. It's such a chore because I keep changing things. Every time I go yeah. in, yeah, I mean to. Uh, uh, write a new chapter. I end up editing what I already have and changing stuff. I'm like, I can't get it done. So I'm too close to the story. If yeah. if you feel so inclined, and this is this is me putting in a, a shameless plug. Yeah. If you feel so inc if you feel so inclined, mm -hmm. I can send you a writing sample. I would love to write your forward. Okay. I would love it's to write your forward. Oh my god! Because I can write. Oh. Yeah. Okay. You got that. That's you. You got, that's your part. Oh, so whoever. <laughs> Yes, Chike. Yeah. You know my story intimately, and the fans will know soon too. But you know, mm -hmm. you have an affinity and a love for me that I feel is genuine. 
I would mm -hmm. love to do that. That'd be an honor. Thank you. Yeah, thank you. Thank you. you. You're welcome. Yes, so you got that. Okay, so, okay, the information for your page is put up. Please subscribe. Yes, subscribe. Mm -hmm. And mm -hmm. share. Subscribe and share. Okay, absolutely. And share. So, you're saying you want me to do that now, Chike? Or it's no, no, no. Up? Someone posted it already. So, I was telling the people, subscribe and share. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, I know he's at the airport. He might even be uh, flown out by now, going to a wedding. But, or it may have been um, Nisi. She might have Nisi. It's Nisi. Mm -hmm. Okay, good. Love you, Nisi. Chike, so we'll talk soon. Yes, ma'am. All right. Love All right. to you. All right. <laughs>